Hey y'all, welcome back to Southern Roots. It's Maya and today I want to give you guys my honest review of a very popular deep conditioner. This conditioner is the main choice Heavenly Halo Herbal Hair Tonic and Soy Milk Deep Hydration Mask. Woo, what a title. So today I have a special treat for you guys. Not only do you get one review of this product, but sis, you are going to get two. Yes, a duo review. I am collaborating with my fine natural hair sister, Lavinia from Fine Natural Hair Rocks, and she is going to also review this product with me. So we're collaborating together today. We both have fine natural hair, and we want to give you our honest review of this product. So let's jump right in of some actual footage of me applying this product. I'm applying the product just as the directions state, from roots to tips. The product consistency is a creamy consistency, semi-thick, I would say, um, very mild scent. I can't really tell you what the scent is. Um, doesn't have a very loud fragrance, but a mild scent. And for the most part, I feel like it is going on to my hair pretty well. When applying deep conditioner, I like to break my hair down in sections and apply it fully to each section. Then twist up that section to first keep it out the way, but I shampoo and condition my hair section by section. Um, it makes detangling a little easier and shampooing. Because I do have fine natural hair and my hair tangles easily, I feel like this is the best method to keep it from tangling. Here you see me spritzing my hair with some water because it had gotten a little dry um, after I had shampooed and I would taken a little while to put the deep conditioner on. So it got a little dry. So I wanted to make sure that I was getting an accurate depiction of the conditioner and not putting it on dry hair because it did say put it on after shampooing to me implying that you need to have um, pretty damp or wet hair so I added some water back here so I am showing you guys I'm done my twister already and I'm applying my cap I'm gonna sit under the dryer for 15 minutes as the direction state they said you could do that or you could you know walk around with it for about up to an hour but I chose this method Let me go wash this out and I'll be back. I rinsed out the deep conditioner in my hair. And I will say as I'm taking down my twist, I'm feeling my hair, trying to feel if it feels moisturized. And I will say it, my, my hair does feel pretty moisturized. Um, my curls look to refresh, they look hydrated. So I feel like the conditioner works pretty okay. Okay guys, so you just saw the footage of me applying the product. I've already talked about the texture of the product and also how I felt like the product did while I was applying it. Now I want to get into the claims that Main Choice makes that this product should provide when applying it on your hair. So there are five specific claims that they provide and I'm going to go through each one of them. The first claim is that it deeply penetrates to intensely hydrate. So I will say I did feel like my hair was hydrated after I used this conditioner. The second claim is it noticeably restores hydration levels in dry and thirsty hair. So, I purposely use clarifying conditioner to remove all the previous buildup that I had from styling, all the, oil, all the extra oil and stuff to get all that off to try to see, get my hair in a drier state to see if it really did noticeably restore hydration. I will say that it did restore hydration as conditioner would, but I wouldn't say that it restored it significantly. Like it felt like most of the deep conditioners that I do use, um, maybe even a little less uh, hydrating than some of the ones that I use. So it was okay. Third claim is superior hydrating formula calms frizz and improves elasticity. So I will say um, my hair is naturally frizzy even when it has very defined curls it can be a little frizzy. I will say that this product uh, did not make my hair any frizzier but it um, was about the normal amount of frizz that I get. So the fourth claim was that it leaves your hair feeling soft, supple, and tangle-free. I did feel like my hair 
was very soft and supple. I did not have any harder time detangling than I normally do. Um, so I believe that they held up to this claim. And then the last one is that it helps minimize shedding and breakage. So I feel like I experienced the same amount of shedding as I normally do. So I will say that this product did not promote shedding and breakage, but it, I don't know that it minimized what uh, the shedding that I normally experience. So out of that, I would say that for most of their claims, they did hold up to them. Another thing that I want to point out is price point. Sis, I know we always want to know how much the product costs. At least I do. So um, for the main choice, um, deep conditioner and I want to show it to you right here it's about an eight ounce bottle eight ounce container the eight ounce container costs you about twenty dollars pretty comparable to some other deep conditioners but with it only being okay to me I'm not sure that I feel like it's worth the pro the amount you get for the price that it costs so overall, I feel like the conditioner was just okay. If you don't have a deep conditioner and you are you are looking for something that holds up to these claims, hydrating, moisturizing, um, leaves your hair soft, needs um, some moisture, try it out. But if you have a conditioner that is already doing that and you're looking for something that is more, that's better, that's the next step, that's the next best thing, this may not be it. So that's my honest review. Let's see what Lavinia had to say about this product. So in terms of the product effectiveness and, you know, whether or not I would purchase this again, I did feel like the product could have enjoyed a little bit of a more detangling effect than it had. I've had deep conditioners that have done a fantastic, phenomenal job over and over again when it comes down to slip. This did an okay job. Um, I did find myself wishing for more slip. So if you do have particularly naughty strands, I wouldn't necessarily suggest using this. It wasn't the worst, but it definitely wasn't the best. Uh, it did hydrate my strands, but again, that detangling effect just simply was not there. So for me, out of five, I would give the effectiveness of this product a three. I hope you guys enjoy this duo review from myself and my sis, Lavinia, at Fine Natural Hair Rocks. It was a pleasure working with her. Please check out her page. I linked her information down below. Also, in the comments, let me know what your favorite deep conditioner is. I'm always on the market for a good deep conditioner. So hook a sister up. Lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be alerted when our videos upload weekly. Thank you guys so much for your support and see you next time.